Welcome back e-bikeaholics. In this video we will be tensioning the belt on a Gates carbon drive. After about a hundred miles with our spot five points with a 500 watt 48 volt 21 amp front hub motor kit we are noticing that the belt is feeling a little loose. So what we need to do is open up the Gates Carbon Drive app on our smartphone and it will measure the frequency of the belt when you pluck it like a guitar holding the microphone near the belt. And it gives recommendations for a IGH. This is the SRAM iMotion 3. They recommend between 35 and 50. And we are getting about 30. You'll want to make sure that you're in a quiet place. So what you need to do is measure four times rotating the cranks a quarter of a turn with each measurement. We had a low of 29 hertz and a high of 37. So I think we should still tighten it up a little bit. And the way that we do that on this setup is to loosen these two bolts and then just drive this screw in to push the entire axle mount backwards and the same thing goes on the other side so you want to make sure that you pay attention to how many turns you're using on this so I'm using an M5 hex socket once you have these loose Go ahead and loosen both sides. And we can slowly tighten this one. Let's do a quarter turn on each side, maybe a little less than a quarter. The recommended frequency for an IGH is between 35 and 50. For mountain bikes and single speed, you could go up to 75. So I'm okay with being at about 55 at the tight points. What I like to do when torquing most bolts, if I'm not using a torque wrench on a bicycle, is keep my hand close to the head of the wrench. The, the farther your hand is down the wrench, the more leverage you'll be putting and the more force you'll get. So if you just hold close to the head and give it a nice tight tug, that's usually a, a good sweet spot for most M6 or M8 bolts that are common on bikes.
The only complaint I would say about the SRAM iMotion 3 is that clicking sound. You'll only get the click when you're in first or third, for the most part. Or second and third, rather. So this is first gear, second gear. third gear. But really when you're on the road, wind noise, ambience, you don't even notice that sound at all. Another thing we need to look at with the Gates Carbon Belt Drive on an e-bike is the gearing. This spot five points comes with a 50 tooth CDX center track front pulley, 118 belt, and a 24 tooth rear pulley, and with the SRAM iMotion 3, which is nice, it has three gears, uh, the second gear is a neutral, I suppose, and then there's a high gear and a low gear, so I love the simplicity of it, however, the gearing is kind of low to where with the 500 watt 48 volt motor I'm always in third gear the only time I'm in second gear is to start at a light and really first gear is is pretty pointless so I need to increase my gearing it makes more sense with this kit to switch the rear pulley uh, these can get expensive, they're about 60 or $70, and it's kind of hard to find in the Alphine style, which is the Shimano style, and I believe I would want a gain ratio of around 6, which would mean that I would, ha I would need about a 20 tooth, and, I'm, and it's just hard to find. Overall, so far though, the Gates Carbon Belt Drive has been excellent. It's smooth, it's lightweight, it's actually made out of carbon fibers, I believe. It is quiet, and most of all, low maintenance. I don't have to worry about rolling up my pant leg and worrying about getting grease on my chain. I don't have to worry about the chain skipping off. Very happy with it, a little pricey. It increased the cost of the bike, but absolutely worth it and we believe that this is the future of drive systems on electric bikes we've seen some city bikes low maintenance bikes that are you know like the ride share programs that have the direct drive uh, which is interesting and, and maybe that might have a future with electric bikes but i think these are becoming much more popular especially with the bosch drive bikes Risa Mueller has a belt drive for almost all their models and they're just becoming more and more popular and we're really happy to see that. We hope that it, um, it continues in that direction.